So before we look at generating a new micro front end, I just want to show the other kind of capabilities of the CLI. Um, and so you would be able to do something like this to kind of access the help to see what we offer. So you can see that we've got a few commands. We've got install, which we've already looked at. We've got new, which we'll look at in a moment to kind of create a new micro front end and then run. So run is um, a way for us to help launch all the micro front ends that we need um, without having to like manually uh, start the dev servers um, in like separate terminal windows. So we kind of just run child processes of those. And so let's take a look at what we've done already. Um, make sure that it's working. So if I do I'm just going to say run MTFH. So this is not, it's like not exact matching. So any kind of folder name that matches this kind of string that we've entered will kind of run. So this should run all of them. So you can see it's looking to pick up authentication, common header, root and search. And it's identifying the different um, ports that they would be on. Um, and we're just waiting for the green signals that they're all live. Cool. So now that these are all live, we can go check it out in the browser. So if I go local.hackney port 9000, it's brought up the page. So this has actually loaded our header micro front end, our search micro front end, and the entire like root application. And we've got common running in the background. That's all the shared stuff, like all our React components, um, our API helpers, and yeah. So we can see that this is working. I should be able to, uh, from here, even perform a search, see the results. So even though we've got like 10 plus micro front ends, we don't need to have all of them running to kind of work. Um, we can like work iteratively on the ones that we need to because searches are entry point to generally useful to have it um, running. Um, but yeah, so for example, if I had to, if I go back to the search results and like click through, it's going to give me, um, it's unable to load the person micro front end because we actually don't have it installed. But it, it's, it throws a console error, but we're not, um, not breaking the experience for us.